My name is Stephen Gigi. I am a professor of cell biology at Harvard Medical School. Uh, my, the research in my lab centers on developing and applying technologies in the field of mass spectrometry based proteomics. Most of us are really interested in comparing the protein expression levels across two different states, a cancer cell and a non-cancer cell. And we're interested in comparing the protein expression levels on a global scale. And this is possible using mass spectrometry and, and, and there are a number of techniques and technologies to do this. And the, the reagent we use in the lab, they're called TMT or tandem mass tags. And these allow up to 10 different cellular states to be compared simultaneously. So the Orbitrap fusion allows for these 10 plex reagents to be used. When we used to compare two um, proteomes and, and the protein expression levels across two conditions, we would often have data sets that, that were on the level of say 9,000 proteins uh, deep. But what happened was is when we went to the 10 plexing, we now had 10 samples, which is a huge improvement over two. But our, our data sets were smaller. They might be 8,000 proteins. So we were losing maybe 10% of, of, of the proteins that we had previously quantified due to the sensitivity differences between comparing 10 samples where you need more signal to just two. Uh, the Overtrap Fusion Lumos now uh, gives us more sensitivity. And we've noticed in, our, in using it that, that we're actually getting back data sets that are comparable in scale with what we were getting when we just compared two samples together. And a lot of it is the brightness of the source. For example, it has an ion funnel now, so this is allowing for even greater sensitivity to, to come through. The segmented quadrupole is very, is very important to us because we need to isolate those precursors at as narrow tolerance as we can. And so we really like to do it at, at, at 0.4 uh, Thompson or M over Z. And so having that ability now allows us to have even less interference to, to get more transmission of the ions. And, and so we're, we're very excited about that aspect as well. Having a, a, a better quadrupole uh, you know, and having you know, a brighter source, I think are two improvements that really benefit my lab, especially because of our use of this, this multi-notch MS3 approach. With the Orbitrap Fusion Lumos, now I think we can um, have the same depth of analysis that we could get when we were just comparing two samples and get it across all 10 samples. I think this will have a huge impact on, on our field because as the sensitivity comes forward, we're going to be able to perform really complex experimental designs where we can have biological replicates within the same experiment, we can have um, dose response curves for drug discovery. It's really exciting, I think, is we now realize that, that the number 10 may not be the final number, right? I mean, there, there's no reason why we couldn't try to move it to 24, because with the sensitivity now, there's an opportunity there to quantify even more channels. So, you know, imagine a world where there's 24 plex quantitation instead of 10 plex quantitation, just because of the sensitivity and the Orbitrap Fusion Lumos.